Hey, what's going on guys? Um, finally thought it'd be a good idea to uh, film some of the prep leading to Belarus. Uh, IPF Worlds this year is in uh, Minsk, Belarus in June, uh, late to mid-June. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'm excited. So I'm going to kind of document some of my training process as we go forward uh, and try to post a little bit more to YouTube. Um, Today will be some deadlifts, kind of moderate, uh, and then uh, some moderate bench press as well. A few accessories, and uh, we'll kind of go through warm up and everything else, and then uh, see where we take it. But uh, thanks for joining, and if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Talk to you soon. So, getting into some training here. Um, I pretty much do the same warm up every single time I get in the gym. Um, it has a barbell complex, some uh, other components basically designed to increase overall uh, blood flow, get me working on the movement patterns that I'll be doing uh, for that session. If it's deadlifting, I'll do a little bit of extra um, sumo pulling. If it's squatting, I'll do a little bit of extra squatting. Sometimes I'll add in some depth drops and stuff like that. Um, you should be able to check out a video I did with Mark Bell uh, going over the warm up. Um, so it really hasn't changed all that much with the exception that uh, because I've been working with a PT, as I'll show here in just a little bit, I've been adding a little bit of extra rhomboid stuff because um, I've been dealing with some crappy back pain, um, kind of center to the right uh, in my low lat, but feeling pretty healthy. Uh, looking forward to uh, to training and uh, just to continue to make some progress. Um, I want to talk about a few things here. Uh, number one, uh, just a little bit about uh, what my training looks like. Um, I'll be skipping out on the Arnold this year, so I'm kind of prepping straight for uh, for Worlds with a stop doing a heavy invitational deadlift uh, in Alaska, in Anchorage, Alaska, with Ryan Carrillo and Natalie Hansen uh, and company, and I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, essentially we are doing a three times squat, um, three times bench, and two times deadlift per week, uh, high specificity training. Uh, outside of that, it's, it's pretty linear. Um, you know, I've got a day where I'm doing a higher rep work, uh, a day where I'm doing kind of a low rep active recovery-ish type stuff, and then a day that is uh, quote-unquote strength focused. So essentially, uh, lower lower rep, heavy load, uh, you know, 82% and on up to about 92 at, at the very highest. Um, so here's those PT movements uh, I was talking about, uh, three of them. Uh, they all kind of get at the similar thing. And the interesting thing was the first few days, uh, I was just horrible at these. I'm slowly getting a little bit better just in terms of being able to control my back. And that's transferring over into being able to uh, to lift pain-free and that along with some, um, some in-person stuff that my uh, friend Luke Wakefield uh, here in Denver, Colorado has been nice enough to uh, assist me with. So looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, training today was uh, triples at 595. Everything was moving pretty fast, so nothing too eventful uh, to look at as far as that goes. Uh, here I am uh, praying to Father Shiko, uh, but this is one of the, uh, the movements that I'll be doing. Um, so yeah, uh, ultimately things going pretty well uh, in training. Uh, on a personal matter, I just crossed over uh, in turn 30, so I'm pretty excited about kind of this next phase of life uh, and it, it gave me some time to reflect on uh, where I've been up to this point what's been successful what hasn't been successful uh, what do I want to change um, what do I like keeping in and uh, how can I continue to make life better for me uh, and for other people so that that will kind of be on the forefront of my mind going forward well, uh, here's some deadlifting. Uh, I've kind of adopted a pretty moderate stance here. I like to have my shins just about vertical at the start of the pull, and I like to keep the bar very close to my body as I'm pulling. Um, that kind of helps me uh, maintain a smooth pattern. Here's another little tip, by the way. Uh, I really like uh, spraying a towel with some water and stepping on that before, especially if you pull on any kind of smooth uh, surface. I've, I'm pulling on wood. Uh, it really kind of helps keeping your feet in place. The next thing I'd like to talk about is just developing a consistent setup. Um, making sure that the things you do are repeatable uh, is really important. And that boils down to having a ritual, doing the same exact thing every single time you uh, you get to the barbell. 
So for me, that's my left foot first, then my right foot, then I'll bend my knees, uh, adjust my belt, take a breath, grab the bar, raise my hips, drop them, um, get tight, and then initiate the pull. Um, I'll show kind of four setups here, uh, all kind of around the same time. Because the load on the bar is different, sometimes I'll take more or less time with them, but the idea is um, we're really looking for the same thing from rep to rep um, and from set to set. That allows you to, uh, to not worry so much about the setup because it's repeatable and it's out of sight and out of mind. The idea is you've worked on this so much that by the time you get to the platform uh, in competition, you really don't have to worry about it anymore. This is all just uh, part of what you do. And I think it's important for athletes to not question what you're doing so much. So in other words, if you've got something that feels successful for you, um, don't mess with it. <laughs> just let it be good. And I think that's something that a lot of people um, uh, don't do. There's a really tough balance, especially if you're uh, someone who has a lot of contacts with other people, you're a social lifter or something like that. Um, there's a balance between uh, changing technique for the better and recognizing when it's good enough that uh, actually changing it would make things worse. So here's the first working set. Um, things feeling pretty easy, the back felt good, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, let me know, by the way, if you guys have any questions you want me to talk about or anything like that. Um, I'm going to try for two of these uh, per week. That's going to be the course of things, make maybe one more squat focused and one more bench focused uh, as I go forward and kind of document, hey, what's this journey like up into Belarus and, and my first IPF Worlds uh, competition? Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I'm excited about this kind of being the first time uh, and that kind of relieving some pressure from me to feel like I have to perform a certain way or anything like that. Uh, I tend to do better when uh, there's no external pressure uh, to compete. I just get to do the thing that I enjoy uh, and do it uh, a lot. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Uh, arranging some of the travel details. This will be my first time traveling out of the country uh, to compete. So that'll be interesting as well. I'm gonna get there a few days before. Uh, but ultimately, you know, I just wanna, uh, I wanna have fun. I wanna meet people. I want to soak in that experience. And I want to make sure that, uh, that I don't let it pass me by, you know? Because uh, who knows if I'll be able to go back next year uh, or ever again. So I really wanna uh, just enjoy it. This is some, uh, some TheraBand work that I do for upper body before I bench. Um, I sped this up a little bit, but uh, that's just a voodoo floss band. Um, and the, the idea is essentially the upper body version of what I did in the lower body. Just a lot of uh, movement, uh, kind of warming things up, increasing body temperature, and, uh, and getting into it. After that, I will do the bar with three different grips for a ton of reps. Uh, close grip, then I'll go wide grip, and then finally I'll use my comp grip uh, for a few reps at the very end. So, um, so yeah, that's what's going on, man. Uh, repping UCLA powerlifting on the t-shirt. Um, they were kind enough to send me one out, and I used to uh, go to UCLA and also um, train with them for a few sessions here and there. Um, but shout out to you guys. So um, that's it on, on that side of things. Now I'll talk a little bit about bench pressing here. Uh, I'll do some zoom ins, uh, mainly on the contact point um, for the barbell. Uh, I like contacting pretty much right at the sternum level for me um, and minimizing the unracked distance, making that distance as short as possible so I can stay as tight as possible. Uh, that's really one of the big things that I'm going after here. Um, as you'll see, I kind of roll the bar out to the very lip uh, and then just edge the bar up and out. Uh, and that's been allowing me to uh, unrack for myself even up into competitions um, with, with the ability to stay tight and with being able to kind of maximize performance still. So I'm going to continue that as much as possible. In addition, uh, this initial part of the setup is me kind of drawing and retracting my scaps back under me uh, and trying to keep them there as I unrack the barbell and just edging things out with a small move of the shoulders before I set, set them back down and in. 
So what's up for goals? Um, looking forward to trying to squat 715, trying to bench 505, and trying to deadlift 825 by the end of this year, at least. Uh, and just do my damn best to stay injury free, enjoy the sport, uh, and continue to train. So I'm gonna let the rest of this play out um, so there's no awkward ending. <laughs> and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. So thank you for, for joining me. And uh, yeah, leave me some questions and I'll talk to you soon.